Hey there, and thanks for watching. Over the next few minutes, I'm, I'm gonna talk about the latest changes to our ACRE Geocoding Excel add-in. Now we're talking today about version 0.3 of this Excel add-in. If you're from unfamiliar with this add-in, uh, it allows you to auto-populate latitude and longitude as well as coordinates uh, for, for any address. You can also do the reverse and take uh, coordinates and output an address. And it's an add-in that we built uh, about a year ago and released, and it's been in a beta form. And version 0 0.3 is the first a version that drops that that beta tag. And, and the reason why we've dropped it has now been sufficiently used by the ACRE audience over the past year that we feel like it's in it's in pretty good condition. Now, there are a few requests, feature requests that we've received over the past year. And so I wanna highlight uh, those. Um, and so what I've done, I've gone ahead and installed the latest version of the add-in. And you'll see at the very top, this geocode uh, ribbon. And now there is a third block within this ribbon added called clear formula. And for now, we're, I'm not gonna use that yet. You'll see manage API key, this pops up. Uh, and here there's a few just, I, I've added a link to Google's instructions for obtaining an API key. You'll find those same instructions here under this link on our website. You just go ahead and click this link here uh, within the Manage API key dialog box, and it'll take you to that page, and in there you'll find instructions for getting your API key. Now, I've dropped my API key in here. It's, of course, blacked out because this is a unique key just to me. It's like a password, and therefore I don't want to, to release it to all of the world, but you'll drop your unique key in there if you haven't already. And... Let's go ahead and drop in an address. And an address we might use is 20 West 34th Street, New York, New York, 10001. That's the Empire State Building. And with that, you're probably familiar. Just simply type in find coordinates. We can also do find latitude. We can do find longitude, right? And we use those. And what it does, it goes out to Google grabs the coordinates, brings it back. You're familiar with this if you've watched any of our other tutorials. Now we can also, of course, use find address from those coordinates, oops. Uh, find address, and the first is latitude, longitude, and it outputs the address. So with that, we have used four API polls. And as you know, uh, Google limits the number of polls that you can do uh, at the free rate. And so what some users have, have had run into over the past year is they would say, include these functions. They would close the workbook. They'd open the workbook back up. And again, they'd get new polls or they'd have so many uh, functions included. So each time they'd open a workbook, it would take a while for those polls to happen. And Google will actually, uh, 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 govern or, or, or slow down the speed at which those polls occur. And so it, you could have a slowdown where it might take a minute or two if you have a lot of these functions running at one time for even the workbook to open. And so the solution to that, both to increase the speed of the workbook, but also to limit the number of API polls that you're, that you're getting is once you've used the function, right? So imagine we have a file and we have now used four different uh, functions that are using this Google uh, API, we can just come up here and click the clear formula button. You just click that and it automatically converts each of these to values. And you see that up here now in the uh, formula bar. It's no longer the function, now just simply values. And and we, were able, we pulled in what we need, cleared the formulas and done. So that's, that's another one of the features. Um, the final feature is we cleaned up some code uh, in the back end to hopefully increase the speed at which your Excel opens up. I know some people were running the issues where it was taking uh, a few seconds longer to actually load the add-in as you were loading your Excel. 
uh, that should be uh, faster. So anyway, those are the latest changes to our ACRE geocoding Excel add-in uh, from version 0.3. Let me know if you have any questions about this. Otherwise, thanks for your time.